Hi, my name is Brandon Enright, and I'm going to try to run a little bit of an experiment this evening to figure out if it is possible to seal a piece that is printed in Shapeways White Strong Flexible. It's, um, it's a selective laser-centered nylon powder part that's been formed via 3D printer. If it's possible to seal this white part so that it can't really get dirty. There have been a few ideas running around on the Twisty Puzzles form. But uh, most of them involve using super glue, which is um, cyanoacrylate, I think. Something like that. Cyanoacrylate, which is the technical term for the chemical that super glue is made out of. Um, and how you could actually apply it to the surface in order to seal the part. Now, I already made a video of the surface of a part under a microscope, and you can see it's incredibly porous. And I did make a video where you uh, where I applied cyanoacrylate to the surface, and you could see that the glue basically made the surface wet and really sunk down into the pores, and didn't you know didn't really make much of a layer on top of the surface. It really sunk down in. But the question is, is a uh, is it possible to sort of uniformly apply the glue to the whole part without making a total mess? One of the ideas we've had is supposedly super glue dissolves in acetone. Now, I have tried to dissolve super glue in acetone before that had already hardened, and it turns into sort of a messy gel and doesn't really like fully disperse into the acetone. But I'm going to run a little bit of an experiment this evening, and I'm going to try adding clear super glue, or not clear, but uh, liquid super glue to acetone. And I have two parts here, and I'm going to try to seal one and not seal the other. And then we're going to see whether or not it's, it actually works. I really have no idea what's going to happen here, so I'm going to give this a try. And then the other thing I'm going to try, and I don't know how all this is going to work, is I'm going to try to show you this part through a 10x power magnifying glass. I don't know how well you can see the surface of the part through this magnifying glass, but or if it's even in focus. Um, you can see, hopefully, how porous the part is. So here's the idea. What I'm going to do is I have one that I'm not going to seal and one that I'm going to seal. So the way I'm going to mark it is the one that I'm going to seal. I'm going to mark with a permanent marker. Okay. So we have the one I'm going to seal is black and the one that I'm not going to seal will keep white and I'll just put it back there. And I have a dish here, and I don't know how well this is going to show, but I have a dish, and I'm going to put acetone in the dish. That's it for this can of acetone. Should be enough. The part is submerged about halfway. So the, the submersion goes up to about that ridge. So about half the part is submerged here, which should be good enough for a test. And then the next thing I'm going to do, and let me see if I can film this better. I'm not sure. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add super glue. This has not been opened yet. I'm going to open it with my scalpel. And I'm going to squeeze, oh, and that looks like it's actually dispersing in the acetone, which is a really good sign. Okay. So I have added the entire thing of super glue. 0 0.7 ounces, 2 grams of super glue, according to this. And it looks to me like it actually dispersed in the acetone. I don't see any lumps or clumps or anything like that. And now I'm going to take the part, and I'm going to put it in, spin it around a little bit. I don't know if this is actually doing anything. Okay. Take the part out. It's 
going to take a little bit to dry, but uh, maybe I can. Let me uh, re aim the camera here. Oops. Sorry, folks. Oh, that was sort of sticking to the. Uh, sort of sticking to the foil there. And I don't think that that's in focus. Let's see if I can do better with the light. Parts still slightly wet. My cap my acetone over here. Okay, the part looks relatively dry. Okay, so now the question is, is whether or not this actually sealed the part. Um, it, it looks shiny, but I can't tell if that's wet or if the super glue made the surface shiny. Use paper towel here. Seems like maybe the super glue actually made the surface shiny. Because that is not wiping any moisture off at all. And acetone evaporates really fast when you have a very thin layer of it. Okay, so the next question is, is whether or not this is gonna mark it very well. Seems like it's marking it. Oh well. So I'm gonna go try to wash this off. Um, I'm gonna go empty the acetone. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna go get a different dish with a little bit of water and see if we can wash that off. can't wash it off, but it is permanent marker, so I guess that's not much of a surprise. So the next question is, is will this actually get dirty? Um, and so I'm going to go find something that I can make it dirty with and see if it sticks better or worse than the other part. And uh, so I'm going to stop the video, I'll go find something that will make it dirty, and then I'll start the video again. Alright, I have two ideas for making the part dirty. One of them is... 99.9% .9 copper powder. It's 325 mesh. So this is like really, really, really tiny copper powder. I mean, it's it's like powdered sugar, tiny. And I've already put another part. This this started out white. It's no longer white. So here you can see the big difference here between this and this. This is the part we sealed. And this is just has copper powder in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip this part in the copper powder. And 
And let me grab a brush here. Brush off all the excess. Looks like it probably had a little bit of moisture on it still. Okay. So, there's the part now. It's clearly dirty, but it looks to me like the bottom is actually significantly whiter than the part that did not get the acetone. And since we have a control piece, I'm going to put the control piece in. So there's the control piece. Okay, the control piece is not white anymore. Um, and should have a second control piece here that we can compare it against, but I'll just compare it. This is also a white, strong, flexible printed part. It's just a rectangular prism. And you can see that there's a pretty distinct difference between those two. This one's bright white still, and this one's sort of an ugly, dirty red gray. And compare that to this, in this part, if you ask me, looks much, much better. Despite the marker that we put on it, the white looks a lot whiter. So here, make sure that we mix them fairly. They're both in here. This is the part that we sealed. And this is the part we didn't seal. Just compare the bottom here, since the bottom is really kind of what we sealed anyways, between the two. And I think that answers that. Super glue in acetone definitely seals the parts. Now, it does make the surface shiny. There's a little bit of a shine to that surface. Maybe you can maybe see it under the magnifying glass. I'm not, not sure. So I don't know if it changes the tolerances of the parts or not, um, but I guess there's only one way to find out, and that's to seal all the parts on a puzzle, and then put it together and see if it still functions. So I, I might have a spare puzzle I can do that with. I'm not sure. I'll have to go through what I have printed that I haven't uh, already started tumbling, and we'll compare. So once again, I want to show the. this is the not sealed control part. This is the sealed control part. And this one stayed way wider, at least in the part that we actually sealed, which was the bottom half, because we only had that much acetone, you know, a very thin layer of acetone. So I think this looks very promising. I think that uh, I think this might work out. So I'm gonna, it needs more testing, a lot more testing. Um, please don't seal a part, and then if your puzzle doesn't work, complain to me. But um, yeah, I think it's worth exploring significantly more. This looks very, very promising to me. Thanks for watching. 
I have one more thing to show. And I tried to clean my dish and I poured water into it. And according to the Wikipedia article, cyanoacrylate turns hard when with moisture. And when I the when the moisture hit the acetone that had all the super glue in it, it instantly turned into this white spider webby mesh and peels right out. And there's a lot of water trapped in here. But this is the super glue that was in the acetone. And so you can see that the super glue was probably totally dispersed in the acetone. And when it hit that water, it instantly formed this like really weird, like papery, fabric-y material. I don't know how to explain this. It's, it's really strange looking. But uh, anyways, I think it's, I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, it, it tears and it almost looks like paper, but uh, that's the super glue when it hit the water. So anyways, just a curiosity, nothing, nothing special. At least it didn't ruin my dish.